All right, we're gonna use KB Afghan loom. So we're going to start, we're gonna do a figure eight today. We're gonna wanna mark your loom, just like I have done here. You're gonna go with the arrow that's um, normally white. I have marked it black. And that is gonna be peg one. And then you're gonna skip to number eight and then every two after that i will put the numbers skip in the description you're gonna go all the way around back up to this one is 97 98 99 and 100 and 100 you'll mark as a one put an arrow there and you're gonna mark with that one every single one like i have back over here i like to use the big thick yarn um today we're going to be making a baby blanket what I've done here is a old pen I've taken apart and put my yarn through. It's easier to hold it and make sure that you don't unravel if you need to stop at any point. And to make a good um, knot, we're going to wrap it around your finger, wrap it again, take this over, grab the first one, put your finger through, and make a knot. Makes a good knot and it'll hold on. You're going to want to make sure the tail goes inside of the loom. You're going to skip this first one, so you're going to want your first one right here. All the black dots will be skipping. And you're going to want to do a figure eight. You're going to wrap around, go on your left side of your peg, wrap around, and you're going to skip this one that's got the yarn holding on. And you're going to wrap again. You're going to keep wrapping. Make sure you don't, don't, you don't want it too tight, just enough. Like I said, you're going to want to skip all those black pegs that you've marked. All the way around. I will mark, I will go all the way around and show you how to start back over again. And when you're doing it at a figure eight, it's not going to make a big blanket like if you were to use every peg as the box is directed. This has made a blanket four foot nine inches long and um, I used about four skeins of yarn and it made it about two and a half feet wide. Good size to go over the lap and for a baby. And as you see, because we went back to the other side, our dots are now on the opposite side are black dots and doing it this way does not make a very tight stitch thick stitch but not as if you were to use a different a smaller yarn i'm going to place this here you do want to make sure that it doesn't come off that one you're going to want to push all of these down so that you can rewrap And with this, your first stitch is going to be much looser than the rest of the stitches. I have not quite figured out how to get that tight as the other ones. We're going to rewrap. Once again, you're going to skip the one that your yarn is on. Wrap all the way back around. As you see, you want to make sure that it's not too tight, but just enough to where it's going to stay on. Skipping every single black dot. With my um, black dots, I've marked them with Sharpie. Sharpie um, seems to come off your hands. I'm marking it about once a week. Um, so if you can find, it is a permanent marker. Um, I've heard of some people using nail polish and it lasts a little longer. And a good trick with um, pulling your yarn is best to pull it out of the middle. Um, it kind of makes it to where you're not chasing it. If you've got it sitting on the floor, you're not chasing it around the floor or trying to deal with it running away. So you're going to take your hook. Um, I've got the KB knitting board um, one. It's comfy, squeezy. And I go ahead and take the bottom one, flip it over, go back and forth. And like I said, the first one is going to be kind of loose, just the way it goes. I 
it does not ruin it if you go on one side and then go back to the other, which sometimes is a little easier for me. The loom might go out of the camera, but as long as you can see what I'm doing. Once you've got all of these flipped, you'll push down again and rewrap and do the same thing over. Keep wrapping. It's a big loom, so it's kind of awkward to hold. Once you get used to it, you'll go a little faster. If you do one side, if you don't want to use the hook on the other side, if you do one side, you can use your hand, your fingers to kind of pull the yarn up. Push it down. I, I like to push it down as I'm going so that I don't have to go back and rewrap or push down and then rewrap. When I'm finished, I can just start rewrapping. And you want to make sure you don't flip that last one over because there's not another piece of yarn there. Uh, if you do, you'll lose your whole project. And you'll have to start over. Alright. Go ahead and push them all down. And if you do notice that when I did my numbering, I did skip three and that is correct. Um, just in case there's any questions about that, there's the correct amount of skips. So what I've done here is I've um, popped this string off so because my hook was still in it I, you can just set this back down here. Take this, make sure it's... you want this part underneath to rewrap. Make sure it just crosses back over. Simple fix. Do it quite often. If you don't have it wrapped tight enough, this will happen.
All right, we'll go ahead and flip it over, show you how it's going to turn out. It'll keep pushing down, as I said, and um, this entire S shape um, will be about four feet or so, kind of stretched out. But, and kind of pull it. Um, and after a while, trying to hold it will become cumbersome with all of the blanket that'll be there. It'll be kind of long. But um, I will continue working and make another video on how to end it. Um, but for now, this will be it. Thank you.